Leaving off of second chance, we come on to the secondaries. The the secondaries, they there there is almost nothing for secondaries. It would have been nice to see some sort of variety for at least the secondaries. They just said fuck it, just 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 put in like the two guns. I mean, you have the pistols, the launchers, and that's pretty much it. You get you get the pistols, which work pretty well. I, I have to say, they work better in this game than any of the other ones I've seen so far. And then there's the the crossbow. Uh, I don't think it's right for the time era. I don't think Viet Cong and Americans were running around with crossbows in, in the Vietnam War. I'm not too big on that, but the I, it's, I find it almost impossible to aim that fucking thing. Uh, you guys might find it easy, but Jesus, I do not find that thing easy at all. Then there's the claymores. I fucking hate claymores. Y you gotta give us something for the claymore. They blow up instantly. It's ding boom. That there's there's no delay. In the last games, it was too long of a delay. In this one, it's too short of a delay. There is no delay. You gotta give us at least half a second. At least half a second. You're not gonna be able to run away that easily with half a second notice. But you shouldn't make it impossible where it blows up instantly. I mean, you can't... You, I'd like it to be where... Oh, hey, there's a claymore around the door. I can step back. Instead of, hey, I blew up before I could even enter the door because the thing just automatically blew up in my face. I, but, yeah, I, they're, the claymores annoy the shit out of me. And then there's the maps. The maps are bad. They need new maps. There's, there's Nuketown, which has a really shitty spawn system. Um, you, there's this one side of Nuketown where there's a garden. And you can have one whole six-man team spawn on the left side of the garden, and then another six-man team spawn on the right side of the garden. So, you, you have, like, 12 people spawning within two feet of each other. It's fucking chaos. I can almost... I, I always die in those type of situations. And then, their two largest maps, I think, are Radiation and WMD. Some people think Array... But, radiation seems bigger than array. But, uh, in radiation, uh, pretty much people just camp either underground, or they camp on the left side buildings, or they camp on the right side buildings. Well, that's very camptastic. And then you have WMD, which, for the most part, I can't really complain about, but there's this one sniper perch, the very top of the map, where you go up a ladder... And you get to the top, and that's that's the only, like, big sniper spot in the game. And then snipers start getting pissed off when they die up there. It's the only one, that's the only sniper spot in the map. Why are you getting pissed off that you're getting shot down? It's gonna happen. Expect it. And then there's, a uh, Jungle, which is just a remake of uh, wasteland. All people do is camp in the grass and wait for you to run by. That 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 that's a bad map. They they really need new maps because they're just they're just pretty bad right now. Uh, the wager matches are not. They were fun. Wager matches used to be fun, and then people are like, oh, I can camp now. So now you have people camping in the wager matches, like in uh. One in the chamber, people just camp wherever they can find a fucking corner. But that's not even the worst part. The worst part is that they block off half the map. I understand blocking off the buildings, but blocking off half the damn map? That's completely unnecessary. I, I can't even go to the left side of the ma uh, map without getting stuck up against a wall. The hell? You could have left the map open and then blocked off the buildings. That wouldn't have been that bad of an idea, would it? But, um, the wager match is pretty pointless if you play the 
uh, lower, the lower matches where you, like, the most you can get is, like, 30 COD points because nobody double downs or whatever it's called. So, what am I going to do with 30 points? Buy a damn candy bar? The, the Call of Duty candy bar? i never seen that fucking thing before. You can't get anything with 20 points or 30 points. It's so stupid. I, I would, don't understand why you would play it, but... If you want to play for 30 points, by all means. But to me, the entire point system is just messed up. Because if you're going to have a point system, make something expensive. There's nothing expensive in this system. Everything costs about 2,000 points. So you can get anything you want, pretty much, in just two to three matches. The, what? Where is the point in that? And then you have the leveling system in there, too. Why do you have a leveling system if you have a point system? Just make whatever the better gun is more expensive, and there you go. Then you don't need the leveling system. Um, it, the, the, the Call of Duty uh, point system to me was just a letdown, because there's nothing expensive to buy, so I always end up with like 160,000 COD points at the end, at the end of each prestige, because I have nothing to buy. Because once you buy all the emblem placements, all the titles, you can't rebuy them. So the only thing you can buy are the guns and the attachments, pretty much, and the perks. And you can buy those, you usually buy those on the way going up levels. So by the time you're level 50, what the fuck do you have to buy? Nothing. You have nothing to fucking buy. So, it was a pretty big letdown for me about the whole point system. So... As, as an overall, I would say the game was an under-average Call of Duty game compared to some of them. People say it's better than Modern Warfare 2, but for me, Modern Warfare 2 had more sensible uh, perks, definitely, had more sensible guns. The sniping was much better in Modern Warfare 2. Some people might find that not a big deal, but... In a, in a core essence of Call of Duty, sniping is one of the biggest points. It has been one of the biggest points since the very first multiplayer one. Well, not the... Yeah, since, since the first one multiplayer one Call of Duty 2. They, sniping has been an essential key to this game, and then they just completely fucked it up. That, that didn't make any sense. So, uh, it... Yeah, it's an un it's an under average game. It's an under average Call of Duty game, as a whole. Um, some I mean the good there are a very few amount of good points, and then most of it's just really bad. Um, there are some other reviews floating around out there. I know the Optic guys have their reviews going on. Like I said before, they are they're they're pretty much to uh, the point. But uh, then there's those other dipshits that don't know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> um, so, yeah, try and stay away from uh, those if you ever find them. And, um, see, try and, try and keep... I'm not saying don't buy the game. By all means, buy the game, test it out on your own, but don't be surprised if you're let down by some of the ways this game goes. I mean, you're if you're expecting the grand all hyped up game that it was you, you're not gonna get it just just and if you're a huge sniping fan just go back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Th this game is not for snipers um, unless you like waiting for about 15 seconds hoping the enemy doesn't move then then you'll love sniping this game that that'll definitely work so uh, that's my wrap of Call of Duty Black Ops rant and review. And, uh, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.